That's a fired heater where we heat it up. This is a distillation column where we separate it. We're one of the largest for-purpose asphalt refineries in the country. And what asphalt is used for is uh, mainly for binders for road paving. Maybe as high as 70% get turns into the product that we're interested in, which is the asphalt itself. The remaining 30% goes off for typically transportation fuels. Which side should I go to? To the left. At the asphalt refinery, there is more lifting involved, there is climbing uh, up on, onto tanks and towers for safety, and you can get hurt if you don't hold on. What am I going to tighten it with? Well, I got a Welsh Hungarian joke. Uh, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. Open, close. By the way, you don't have no idea how cold it is up here when you take your gloves off. This may be a best company to work for, but I'll bet you it's better in fall and spring than in winter. We're taking a sample of it so that we can test it and see if it has finished its curing process. Once it gets down to about 200, it's goo. It's, it's really gooey at 25 degrees out. You can actually shatter this if you hit it with a hammer. Trucks come in, they load, we load the trucks with gas, and they haul it out to various gas stations. Probably average a million, million and a half gallons a day. Gasoline, heating oil, and jet fuel. That's our largest tank. That's 18,000 barrel tank. All right, that's full with heating oil, that we call it number two. The work here at the terminal is surprisingly unlaborious. You check dials, you look for leakage. It is not the manual labor you might assume for this kind of business. Most things are heavily automated. There goes the price of fuel. This is not exactly sexy work. It's not the same as working in a toy factory or Disney World, and yet the employees here seem to love their job, and it's one of the reasons New Star is on the list of best companies to work for.